Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is firmware. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology or you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, firmware refers to software that has been permanently installed in a machine, device or microchip usually by the manufacturer without it the electronic device will not work unlike a standard software firmware is mean to control operate or maintain the hardware in the background and not interact with human users it usually requires a special equipment to embed firmware into a device and you normally will not be able to alter or erase it without the manufacturer's help because it is planted into the hardware firmware firmware is also called embedded software or embedded system now the devices that use the firmware a lot of devices found in most uh, uh, people's homes use firmware including items like personal computer a personal computer firmware components are just as important as its operating system but unlike an operating system firmware cannot update itself automatically to fix issues detected after the unit gets shipped consumer products today's portable music players like iPods gets firmware upgrades some device manufacturers use firmware updates to add new playable file formats uh, other features that uh, such updates may change include graphical user interface or battery life almost all mobile phones have a firmware over the uh, air firmware upgrade capability nowadays automobiles uh, starting 1996 most vehicles begin using onboard computers and various uh, sensors to detect mechanical problems by 2018 they also employed computer controlled uh, anti lock uh, braking systems and computer operated transmission control units all these run because of firmware now here the question is that how firmware work in a traffic light the firmware tells uh, in to change lights at regular intervals a computer without firmware would not know how to detect its hard drive the or video card if a hard drive does not have embedded firmware it would not know how fast to spin or when to stop if a wireless network card does not have firmware it would not know how to use a particular radio frequency to connect to wifi now there are few types of firmware mainly three types of firmware are there low level firmware stored on Uh, non-volatile memory chips like read-only memory uh, ROM, as such, it cannot be rewritten or updated, and is considered an intrinsic part of the hardware. High-level firmware used with flash memory chips to allow for updates. It often has more complex instructions than low-level firmware, making it closer to software than hardware. Subsystem. a device or unit that is a semi independent part of a larger system it has embedded uh, micro code like high level firmware and so often resemble the system uh, firmware examples a firmware comes in various forms depending on what hardware it is part in it so the basic uh, parts are basic example in a pc the basic input output system bios is an example of a firmware it lets the program that the microprocessor uses the to start the device when you turn it on it also lets the pc os communicate with uh, uh, connected devices such as your keyboard mouse printer and other peripherals the program embedded into hard uh, things like light controls in a building vehicles and most household appliances sold today that tell them to turn on and off run faster or slower get brighter or dimmer open or close 
or give off more or less good or cold or heat with the flick of a switch are all firmware examples now what is the difference between firmware and the driver when a driver interacts with the uh, particular hardware a mouse driver for instance tells the mouse how to work on a desktop computer whose monitor has been replaced with a different brand the monitor driver instructs the monitor how it should communicate with the other components keyboard mouse and cpu which originally came with the set drivers allow most software to work with almost any kind of hardware with their help you don't need to install a different software version each time you decide to change a specific hardware for whatever reason for example your keyboard or mouse is broken or you purchased an additional hardware hard drive the simple act of plugging the hardware into the designated port on your computer will automatically make it run so long as it has the necessary driver installed uh, now firmware hacking actually what it is firmware hacking occurs when third parties create unofficial or modified firmware versions to provide new versions new features or unlo unlock hidden functionality a firmware hack uses a device firmware update facility to install or run some though resort to exploits to run because the device manufacturer tried to lock the hardware to stop it from running unlicensed code most firmware hacks come in the form of free software now what is firmware update a firmware update comes from the device manufacturer it is a piece of code that upgrades the device without requiring hardware modifications it is meant to improve the way a system works with the addition of new features that enhance user experience over time firmware updates or upgrades reduce the need for bug fixes and device repairs they also lessen you your system's chances of getting hacked as some manufacturers opt to release firmware updates to fix huge vulnerability issues in their hardware an example would be the replacement firmware update that dell released in may 2021 firmware is a type of software that is etched directly into a piece of hardware it operates without going through apis the operating system or device drivers providing the needed instructions and guidance for the device to communicate with other device or perform a set of basic tasks and functions as intended without firmware the most basics of devices would not function that is why it is often stored on a read only memory rom chip ensuring it does not get erased by accident all while remaining as close as possible to the metal of the device firmware comes in various complexities and can be found in simple devices like keyboards and hard drive to more complex ones like graphic cards and basic input output system bios in android operating system the firmware is different depending on the manufacturer that is it is the operating software is device specific here so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends